Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an advanced filter with a, a bucket and a brand as the criteria. So for instance, you want to get the model of a uh, bucket size with one and a brand of Komatsu, then there you have the list here. Now, if you want to add another bucket size, for instance, it's one and two, and then uh, just right click the report and refresh it. And there you have the list of the brand and also the bucket size of one and two. You can also add another brand, for instance, Komatsu and Volvo. Just right-click and refresh the report. In here. And uh, there you have all the list here. So we're going to do that inside the Power Query. And also in another worksheet. So let's go with our worksheet here. So I'm going to load these three tables here. So the first one is uh, the table for the bucket size. I'm going to go to the data tab and from table range and OK. And uh, here I'm going to rename it as the bucket size. And then I'm going to go to the bucket column here and turn it into a list. So right click that and drill down. So instead of a table format, we're going to do a list format for that. And then that's it. Go to the home tab and uh, close and load to. I'm going to close and load to and create a connection for that. So close and then only create connection. OK. And then we're going to do that with the brand. Go to data tab from table range. Click my table as headers. OK. And then rename it as the brand. And also same thing. Right click the column brand and then drill down. Make it as a list and then close and load to and only create connection okay now let's load that our final data select any of the data go to data tab from table range and okay and then let's sort it first as ascending order also for the brand ascending and bucket size ascending and then i'm gonna add column for that add column custom column and i'm not gonna rename it because um, i'm gonna delete it uh, later on so I'm going to use list that contains here. So list that contains. And then the first argument will be the list that we are specifying. So that's going to be the bucket size. Let's try it with the bucket size first. Comma. The second argument is uh, um, we wanted to check the bucket size list with our bucket size column in our data. So I'm going to choose bucket size CUM. It's going to be it. Close it with uh, parentheses and OK. And uh, that's going to be a true or false value. So all that's uh, with true value is uh, those that are included in our bucket size list, which is 1. So I'm going to go back to this, and I'm going to use an if statement for that. So write the if statement because we have two criteria here, the bucket size and the brand. So uh, this is the first argument list that contains for the, the bucket size. And I'm going to use end, and I'm going to do the same formula for the brand so list that contains and then the first thing the first argument will be the brand list not this column sorry for that so the first thing is the brand itself the list that we've created and check it with the brand column in our data so that's gonna be it close it and then then if that is true then let's say it's one but you can also say true, but I will use one. Else, that's going to be zero. So that's either one or zero, and then OK. And then that's it. Now we can turn uh, this at uh, this filter and choose one, just one, all the ones. And that's it. That's going to be a list of those Komatsu brand with a bucket size of one. That's the model, Komatsu PC200. And then I'm going to delete this column, we're okay with that. And then close this, go to Home tab, close and load to. And uh, let's choose the existing worksheet so that we can see it side by side. Okay. And that's it. Now we, uh, we can check it. For instance, we have uh, a bucket size of 1 and 4. And uh, that's it. Right click, refresh, and it's going to be the list. Now, if we add the brand, let's say Caterpillar. Uh, right click the report refresh and there you have the list you can also change it for instance you want to check one in four bucket size 
and a brand of Volvo and Caterpillar. Right click, refresh it, and there you have the list. And uh, you decide it to be just the Volvo, refresh it, and there you have the list. And that's it. I'm finished here. I'm done. If you like this video, you can subscribe in my channel. Click the subscribe button and see you next time and thanks.